So I marked the downbeat. <laughs> yeah. And then, dude, I never, Boy, never get to see anybody do it like this. <laughs> Either way, it's still That's where the guitar. <laughs> that's where the upbeat from the guitar it's is. The. Right. So, <laughs> what we're cutting off of this version is that part. Right. So I make a line indicating where I'm cutting and what I'm cutting off. Right. That's the mm -hmm. sort of visual cue of that. Um, and now I'm going to go. I'm going to store this point, and I'm going to go to the equivalent spot <coughs> on take two. And mark the same spot. And because there's no upbeat on this one, or the upbeat is softer, I'm going to indicate the upbeat by marking the tape acoustic, like just free on it here. So there is an upbeat on there, so it's hard. Yeah. So now I mark the downbeat here. The way this works is there are three heads on here. That head erases the tape as it's traveling this way when we're recording. That's the record head, which records the signal on the tape, and this is the playback head, which we're listening to now. Um, so I'm just marking the position of that downbeat on the playback head. And then this is roughly where that upbeat is, um, but it's not precisely the same. So. Um, and so now what I'm going to do here, we're using all of this up to this point here and we'll be out by the time that gets to that downbeat. So I'm just going to trim there where that downbeat is. Um, let's see what's the best way to do this. And now I'm going to go to the head of the song. You're missing something great. It's not Putting, that great. Damn, I came in here and there was some shit going on. So this is now the portion of take two that we're going to use. Mm -hmm. This bit right here. I didn't know where it was. Well, you missed I have, that. I remember <laughs> the numbers. Yeah, take counter eating. numbers. Yeah. So uh -huh. you, were, you were eating empanadas. Yeah. Yeah, I um, needed to eat. It's sustenance. So this is going to have a gash right here somewhere, don't I? <coughs> so this now is mm -hmm. the, the end portion of take one, which we want to keep. So, pardon me. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to take the end portion of take one. Um, but we're not going to be using the first part of this one. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the beginning of take one and cut that bit off. But because I've cut, been moving and cutting pieces off, the tape counter is going to be miscalibrated now. So I, what I have to do is I have to reset the zero. And the zero is at the beginning of the oxide here, so that's the zero. We were four seconds off. I would have made a dreadful mistake. <laughs> um, so now I'm just going to go to the, where the beginning of take one is, which should be at 530. Did 
Did you notice that I stopped running? <laughs> right there, I said. <laughs> Such a pro. <laughs> I'm going to let you in on a little bit of studio insight. This is real inside baseball stuff here. Mm -hmm. The tape that you cut off of a reel that you're not using, like the takes that you're getting rid of, right? right. That's called gash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Every studio has gash reels, which have all the offcuts, the bits that you're not using from the different takes, right? I would love someday to do a project where I just collected the gash reels from different studios and tried to make a record. I think that would be fucking awesome. I would love to do that. Now, there are some famous sessions, like you were talking about the Rolling Stones, some girls. Right, right. Like, supposedly, they're, they're like the, the equivalent of a shooting ratio in filming would mm. be the gash ratio. Right, right. Right? And supposedly, the Rolling Stones, when they were making Some Girl, had like a 20 to 1 gash rate. Like, there were 20 Whoa. reels of gash, to gash one for reel. one one functional wow. reel. Like, they were, it wasn't good enough for them to just rehearse their music. They sort of insisted on uh, on recording it. Right. You know, so that in case they accidentally did something great, it would, mm -hmm. wouldn't not be recorded. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to go to that point there. What did I just do? Were they just like, we might mess up and sound good? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so this is the beginning of take one. And there's our little marks. There's the little bits that we were getting rid of, right? Oh my gosh. So, um, we're not using any of this up to here. So I'm going to cut this off here. And that has joined the gas. Now, this is, uh, oh yeah, so this is the reel which has the other master take of the other song on it. So now I put the <coughs> take two that we're using in there, because that's going to come first. Mm -hmm. This is apropos of nothing, but do you follow the Chicago party ant on Twitter? Mm -mm. Oh my god. What is it? It's somebody that Heather knows. Um, he, it's a Twitter persona of a um, degenerate um, party chick from all eras of Chicago marginalia <laughs> who just tweets about her many ex experiences as a party chick through the ages. <laughs> Throughout Kate, time? It's a Kate Fadden. Uh. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> the Chicago party ant. It's really, really, I just can't recommend it enough. Okay, crazy. so these are the two marks that we made. There's the beginning of the vroom and the downbeat. So that was our downbeat right here. Mm -hmm. Um, and the, what we're interested in lining up is this vroom, right? Right. So, um, I want to make sure that we don't accidentally get extra vroom on there. Mm. So, I'm going to offset this slightly like that. Um, this is even more inside baseball. There are 16 tracks on tape. Mm -hmm. The tracks, track number one is at the t top, track 16 is at the bottom. The guitar, um, whose guitar does the, does the room? Mine. So I think, but I'm not sure that you're on track eight. So you're dead in the middle. 
So as long as I make this cut. Is that so angled? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so as long as I make this cut so that the dead middle dead middle is cut off. So I'm going to save these pieces just in case. Although I don't think we're going to need them. Here's hoping I didn't just embarrass myself. We believe in you, Steve. So now, if I've done all this correctly, it should go from the end of take two, or from the beginning of take two's verses into the end bit of take one. Bye, baby. Let's start. 